What's going on my beautiful people? Thank you guys so much for joining me for another video. My name is Alex Garfe and today I'm going to show you guys how to make one of my favorite Middle Eastern desserts. If you guys didn't know, I am Middle Eastern and I'm going to show you guys how to make some baklava. So I've always enjoyed this when I was not vegan and just a few years ago I convinced my mom to veganize this recipe and we did it very successfully and now it's time for a recipe video. So without further ado, let's get into the kitchen and I'm going to show you guys how to make this vegan baklava and real quick if you guys are new to my channel and wondering what to expect I share vegan recipes vegan food reviews vegan restaurant reviews and also vlogs so if that's something that interests you guys make sure to smash that subscribe button and click that notification bell so you never miss an upload with that being said let's get in the kitchen all right guys so for this vegan baklava here we have some Miyoko's vegan butter and some coconut oil what we're gonna want to do is lather it on this pan and get ready for the phyllo dough. So you just wanna lather it all on here, evenly coat it on all sides. Make sure you get the edges very well so it doesn't stick to the edges. So I got my mom helping me, and as you can see, this phyllo dough is very delicate. So you wanna be very careful. Sometimes it does rip, but it's not a big deal as long as it's not completely ripped. So we wanna lay down about 10 layers. And then we can add our filling on there, and then we add on another 10 layers about so it's a bit tedious after each layer of phyllo dough that you put on there, you do have to coat it with the vegan butter and the coconut oil. So each packet of phyllo dough is different. So basically you wanna lay down half of the sheets in your packet and then you'll put the filling in there and then lay down the rest of the sheets. So the whole point is that the filling is right in the middle. So here's the filling I was talking about. This is a combination of sugar, walnuts, and cinnamon. Now we're gonna begin adding the rest of the phyllo dough layers on top of this. So now the first layer goes on, and again now we're gonna apply the coconut oil vegan butter mix on the rest of the sheets that we add on. All right guys, so now we are going to cut it. So my mom always told me that this was a very tedious process, making the baklava, and I didn't believe her. And yeah, it's easy to add on these sheets and add on all the toppings and whatnot and the filling, but cutting it is truly the most tedious part because you have to make sure that they are clean cuts And also guys, you can cut it however you want. This is just how I chose to cut it. All right guys, so I finished the cuts and now we are gonna add more of the vegan butter and the coconut oil. So I forgot one step of the cut. You have to do the diagonal. I mean, you don't have to do this, but definitely makes it look prettier. And now you can see we added those diagonal cuts. So now it is going to go into the oven at 375 for about 30 to 40 minutes. So now we're adding the syrup mixture, and the syrup is consisting of sugar, water, and lemon juice. Now we just wanna garnish it with a little bit of pistachio. This is optional. Let's take a bite. I must say guys, that is one of my favorite desserts. Finger licking good. And that concludes the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you guys did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not subscribed already. And leave a comment down below. Will you be trying this? I know it's a bit tedious, but I promise if you put in the time, it will be delicious. Good things always take time. So if you guys are going to make this, let me know in the comments down below. And as always, I will see you guys in the next video. Deduce.